Hello everyone and thank you for joining me around the campfire. Tonight I want to tell you a story I heard from a hiker I met a couple of years ago about his experience in Yellowstone National Park. John was a well experienced hiker having hiked all over the United States in national parks, national forests and a host of state parks. He hiked deep into the backcountry, camped and enjoyed the outdoors immensely. But his trek into Yellowstone National Park has made him leery of ever going back into the woods. On his trip, since he had been to the park no less than 20 times, he decided to hike off trail up the Nez Perce Creek toward the central plateau. The walk up the creek was so serene watching the birds swoop down and get themselves a drink and the soft rumble of water flowing over the rocks painted a perfect picture. He reached a clearing and he hoped to find some wildlife there. Maybe an elk or deer, maybe even a bear or wolf. As he topped a low rise, he began to see the tops of antlers near the wood line about 50 yards away. He slowly crept forward to get a better look. But as the animal came into view, he realized it was not a normal animal. That fact became ever more apparent when the creature stood up on its hind legs. It looked to be skin and bones with pale skin. Below it was the carcass of an animal that had been mutilated by the creature. It looked around, scanning the area, sensing John close by. The antlers protruding out of its deformed skull, looking like half man and half elk in the face. Its snarled lips exposed large fangs and its hands looked almost human except for its claws, where its nail should be. It finally caught sight of John. His heart seemed to stop as it took one step forward. Its lanky pale body postured awkwardly, like that wasn't its normal form. John, having experiences with bears, both black bears and grizzlies, attempted to slowly back away to pose no threat. However, he didn't want to take his eyes off the creature by going back down the rise. So he moved to his right where he could keep an eye on the animal as he moved down the creek. The creature stepped backward into the woods and John felt comfortable enough to turn and walk at a speedy step down the creek, constantly looking over his shoulder to see if it was coming after him. After walking about half a mile, he spotted something white peering around a tree about a hundred yards in front of him. It was the creature. He moved to the other side of the creek, but kept an eye on it. It watched him, but then again, moved back into the woods. John never lost sight of it until it went so deep into the forest its body became obscured. A sigh of relief came when John finally saw his vehicle and he was safely inside. Yellowstone was a trip he took once a year at least, but this year marked his fifth year not returning to the park. The thought of that creature waiting for him keeps him away.